water. This is a busy steam railway, just like the one on Sodor. And this is a steam engine. This steam engine is a little like Thomas. It is called a steam engine because steam is what makes it go. Steam is made from water, which is heated by a very hot fire. When the water is bubbling and boiling, it turns into steam. The water is kept in a very big tank on the front of the engine. This tank holds lots and lots of water. The bigger the tank, the more water the engine can hold. But even very, very big engines need to be filled with water often. An engine uses a lot of water to make steam. The fireman is filling up the tank on his engine. He does this every time the water runs low. This can be every journey if the engine is working very hard. Every steam railway has a special tower full of water. This is called the water tower. It has a long tube that swings down to the engine. The fireman has to climb on top of his engine to get to it. It's a very long way up. Careful, Mr. Fireman. He carefully places the pipe inside the engine's water tank and turns on a big valve. This is just like a tap at home, only much bigger. The water runs through the pipe and into the water tank. When the tank is full, the fireman carefully climbs down again and the engine is ready to make more steam. The fire in the firebox heats the new water until it's bubbling and boiling. The boiling water turns into steam, lots and lots of steam. The steam turns the wheels around. And soon, the engine is proudly puffing up and down the railway track taking its passengers where they want to go.